One Japan reaffirms its commitment to safety in the discharge of treated water by ALPS following the nuclear plant accident. Despite China's emergency measure suspending the import of aquatic products from Japan, the Asian country insists on the transparency and scientific basis of its action. They have implemented comprehensive monitoring and disclosed the results, which demonstrate that tritium levels are below discharge standards. The International Atomic Energy Agency backs this assessment. Japan emphasizes that the amount of tritium released is lower than in other nuclear facilities, even in China. They urge China to reconsider its measure and engage in science-based discussions. Japan is ready to provide more information and seeks a rules-based solution through the Regional Economic Agreement. Four high school students in Japan have earned silver medals at the 16th International Earth Science Olympiad, held online by the International Geoscience Education Organization IGO. They will be honored with the Minister of Education, Science, and Technology Award for their outstanding performance. The competition involved 32 countries and regions, with a total of 172 participants. The Japanese students, from various high schools, demonstrated a high level of knowledge in geosciences. This victory adds to Japan's previous successes in the competition, reflecting the quality of geoscience education in the country. The Ministry of Education will continue to support talented youth in their pursuit of excellence in earth sciences. 3. Japan's Minister of Health, Labor, and Welfare addressed various crucial topics. He highlighted the increase in medical expenses in the Rewa 4 fiscal year, reaching 46 trillion yen, emphasizing the need to balance health care in the context of demographic aging. Response to the new coronavirus and the revision of the government action plan were discussed, stressing the importance of being prepared for emergencies and strengthening the health care system. Investment in people was also addressed, with a significant budget requested for the Rewa 6 fiscal year, supporting labor mobility, professional recycling, and digital skills. Measures to address the side effects of COVID-19 vaccines and a new replicating vaccine in development were mentioned. In summary, the minister addressed vital issues related to health and well-being in Japan in this conference. For the Minister of Finance and Special Missions, Mr. Suzuki, presented the financial management policy at a press conference, highlighting four key points for the fiscal year 2023. First, support for commercial operators will be addressed, and financial institutions will be urged to support business improvement and revitalization. Second, the promotion of a nation of asset management will be pursued. Third, rigorous oversight will be conducted to ensure the strength of financial institutions. Fourth, the Diet was urged to deliberate on related bills related to financial education. The Minister emphasized the importance of prioritizing budgetary measures and transitioning from an emergency situation to normal times. The topic of gasoline prices and possible economic measures was also discussed. 5. In Fukushima, Japan, strict monitoring of water treated with the ALPS, Advanced Liquid Processing System, system is carried out before its release into the ocean. This water has undergone a purification process to remove radioactive substances, including tritium, and it is verified to meet safety standards before its release. Both TEPCO, Tokyo Electric Power Company, and the Japan Atomic Energy Agency, JAEA, conduct detailed analyzes and confirm that the treated water complies with safety standards. This contributes to ensuring the safety of the released water and maintaining transparency in Fukushima. 6. The government has presented a provisional strategy to achieve carbon neutrality on roads by 2050 with the goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 46% by 2030. It focuses on four key pillars, traffic optimization, transitioning to a low carbon flow, greening of traffic, and low carbonization throughout the life cycle of roads. 
These efforts include improvements in road infrastructure, promotion of sustainable transportation, adoption of clean vehicles, and emissions reduction at all planning and management stages. Collaboration with various organizations is essential to achieve this goal and combat climate change. 7. In Minister Carter's press conference, several crucial topics were highlighted. The increase in medical expenses due to an aging population and the need to balance benefits and burdens to ensure the sustainability of the healthcare system was emphasized. In addition, the revision of the government action plan in response to the COVID-19 pandemic was mentioned, emphasizing the importance of ongoing preparedness. The concept of investment in people received attention, with an increased budget for supporting labor mobility, professional recycling, and various work styles. Concerns about the safety of COVID-19 vaccines, including a new replicating vaccine in development, were addressed, with a commitment to follow-up and necessary measures. Overall, the importance of addressing these challenges in the context of an aging population and the need to maintain the sustainability of health care and social welfare systems was emphasized. 8. The Ministry of the Environment of Japan has issued an important awareness request regarding heat stroke prevention among residents affected by the August floods. They warn of the elevated risk of landslides due to record rainfall and the possibility of further heavy precipitation. An increase in temperatures is expected, which could increase the risk of heat stroke, especially for those in shelters and volunteers. Additionally, the need to maintain COVID-19 prevention measures, such as social distancing and mask usage, is emphasized. Agencies and volunteers are urged to cooperate in raising awareness and promoting safety measures, including visualizing the heat index WBGT, in shelters. The priority is the safety and well-being of those affected by the disaster in these challenging circumstances. 9. A research group has successfully measured the movement of carbon particles and polymers in rubber tires with astonishing time resolution of 890 nanoseconds using the European X-ray Free Electron Laser, European XFL, in Hamburg, Germany. This innovative technology will allow for more precise diagnosis of rubber degradation and potentially lead to long-lasting tires in the future. Rubber tires play a crucial role in various industries and our daily lives, demanding increasing performance in grip and wear resistance. Understanding the molecular dynamics in these materials is essential for improving their design and functionality. 10. A fascinating discovery reveals that some orchids that feed on fungi have established a unique relationship with fruit flies that also feed on fungi offering their flowers as breeding sites in exchange for pollination. This marks the first evidence of nursery pollination in orchids and suggests a transition to mutualistic symbiosis in the evolution of these plant-animal relationships. Fruit flies, such as Drosophila bizonata, lay eggs in the flowers of Gastrodia foetida, and their larvae can develop fully in this environment. This finding sheds light on complex interactions in nature and could change our understanding of plant-animal relationships and their evolution. The researcher has worked hard to get the data, please like, subscribe and share.